Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters. What's up? This is Anya here in Philadelphia. Welcome to my channel, all of you new subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here. So I didn't realize, you know, guys, that um, a lot of people out there, and it's perfectly normal, fine, not to understand something, not to get something that's the whole idea we are in this race together that we can first and foremost um may the lord bless you may his countenance shine forth upon you i bless you all of you my brothers and sisters including all of you my enemies i mean that ultimately we out there in heaven with our heavenly holy father whether it's you or me we were all brothers and sisters we were do you know that brothers, some of you, my brothers and sisters, you, by now, you may be, those of you who are particularly close to Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you may be remembering some of the people that you maybe are, have seen on the internet having certain channels. I don't know if that has happened to you, but I know it has happened to me quite a few times where I know the people that I approach on the internet, I literally, I literally know them from heaven. I know who they are. There's even one or two people that unfortunately are working for the enemy. And no, I'm not talking about the most recent people I have been discussing. It is extremely sad situation to what is happening to people such as Colleen Minter and Humble Seeker because I'm talking about 9,000 people that are on their channels. I think together, I know a lot of some people fell away. But you know what, brothers and sisters, I that, that situation for me is pretty much done. And, uh, you know, it's redundant, right? But you know what? I'm, I, I, Father has used this with me from the beginning. I'm talking like two and a half years ago. I was assigned to watch Colleen for I thought I was learning from her. And I quickly realized within six months that I was supposed to watch her. And I quickly realized, and remember, I read no scriptures prior to... Well, it's not even two and a half years ago, but I was watching her two and a half years ago, even when I wasn't reading the Bible. I started reading Bible because of the things that I was hearing on her channel in my heart didn't feel right. It didn't, it didn't lay well with me. Just like when I was three years old, six, seven years old, it didn't, it didn't lay well with me when my mom told me that I had to go and confess my sins to a priest at the Catholic church. I was like, A... What kind of sins can a seven-year-old have? What are you supposed to confess? So I would literally go make them up. I would make them up. I thought badly of my mommy. Uh, I think I said a bad word. You know, just like stupid stuff like that. You literally, because I say I don't, but I don't have any. And they were telling me, no, no, no. You definitely must have some. You have to go there and confess. And I hate it. I hate it that church because it never felt right to me and guess what and that that's the holy spirit inside of me that i had my whole entire life even with the forced religion that i as when i was a catholic catholics are from the church of ladosia i believe without a shadow of a doubt that's the church of ladosia uh, however however i told you the seven churches in the book of revelation not everybody is from the Church of Philadelphia. Church of Philadelphia is the only church that is protected, absolutely 100% protected without a shadow of a doubt from the coming tribulation that is about to hit. And it's, I believe it's the, the wheels have already begun to roll some time ago, many, many months ago. Now everything is in place for the Gog Magog war to begin, I told you, I believe Taiwan. I was, I believe, I was shown that Taiwan, that Taiwan will be attacked by China. This will be the beginning of the Gog Magog war. Russia will strike Ukraine at the same time. I believe Syria at the same time. Many other numerous places, and eventually we're gonna have Chinese Chinese soldiers. Russian soldiers here on the American soil, including including NATO. So it's going to be crazy in here. It's going to be hectic in here eventually. But I think we are about two and a half, two and a half years away from that war moving on to the American soil. I pray that it's not earlier. I pray that right now, every this time will be used for, for 
those who fell away and do not know that they fell away, people such as, for example, Colleen Mentor and Humble Seeker, that they will truly understand. You know, yesterday I, I was told, and then I went and checked, and I knew this weeks ago, that Humble Seeker is, is guided to say that God, G-O-D, God from the Bible, God of Israel, we call him God. This is actually not his normal official name. I made videos about it. I told you about the satanic agenda of the Catholic Church and, and how they changed the name of our Heavenly Holy Father. You know, Jesus didn't call him God in the name of God. No, that's not his name. His name is Yahweh. We all know that, right? Majority of you know that, right? Um, with that being said, set this aside. So knowing some of you, if you know, I've made videos about this, 10 minute videos, longer videos that I do reviews, those from November, December. I, I approached that topic. I discussed this hidden satanic agenda against uh, God's children and that a lot of people will be coming out of the woodworks speaking of the future it was very prophetic what i was what the holy spirit was speaking through me because the holy spirit was basically saying hey be ready because satan's agenda is not only to attack the name of jesus this is why father commanded me to tell you brothers and sisters that we must get used to the faster the better saying pronouncing full name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you know it, it is also important because the Lord Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth stands for you know how we have fuller armor of God it literally represents the shield your shield so who is part of your shield father the God God Almighty of Yahweh of Israel Jesus is Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ of Nazareth okay and then Christ is the Holy Spirit. Do you understand? That's the full shield. So when you pronounce in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are activating that full shield, that protection over yourself. It has power. It holds a powerful anointing. Go look up my video and my studies on it, please. Go look up my study on the blood of Jesus, what it is, and overall, what the blood of Jesus has done for us and humanity. And then there was a, a quick 10 minute study from six months ago, seven months ago about the, what blood symbolizes in general, what the blood, human blood is, that human blood is life. Setting this aside, because a lot of us, and I get that, I, the Holy Spirit led me to ask that question because you, you know, remember please, the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit of truth, it's without limit. The Holy Spirit is not gonna limit you to communicate. A Holy Spirit that's without limit is not gonna limit you or me to communicate with you through the numbers. So, so you have to have strong score cordons on you all the time because if you're not gonna know, you're not gonna memorize an entire strong score cordons numbers in Hebrew, because remember God of Israel, is he created the most perfect language on earth holy language and that will be well scratch that just say he created the perfect language which is the hebrew language our father god of israel yahweh the aleph and tav meaning the beginning and the end or in greek alpha and omega he created the hebrew language so God of Israel will first and foremost communicate with you in Hebrew if he will use a number. That's a, one of the bare bottom necessary things when I ask him, Father, show me how you want to communicate with me because I want to make sure that I'm speaking with you, not with the enemy. Because I knew, I felt in my heart that I was speaking with the enemy, that the enemy was trying to pretend to be the Holy Spirit. And literally, they can attach to your head and they'll project thoughts onto you as the rest of them. A spirit that you cannot perceive with your human eyes will project onto your heart. And then you will think you're communicating with the Holy Father when you are communicating with a demon, with an unclean spirit. And remember, all human beings have demonic attachments or call them devils, call them demons. I would call them unclean spirits or devils. Father always corrects me. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry about that. Call them devils because they think that I'm talking about 
unclean spirits, if you call them demon, they feel like they have more power, that, that you're giving them power or something. So don't give them unnecessary power. I'm just telling you how the enemy thinks. The enemy's mind is always perverted. And remember that the enemy will always lead you away from what our Heavenly Holy Father has created, has spoken, or has done especially, they will lead you always away from the true meaning of the blood of Jesus, or altogether that person will never discuss what the blood of Jesus has done, what the new covenant under the blood of Jesus actually means. It will lead you always astray to away from a definition first and foremost of what oil is, which is, of course, I keep, I taught this over and over again. The name of my channel is Oil is the name of Yeshua. However, however, my brothers and sisters, because I also put that in my title, in my title uh, of my channel, because I want to attract my, our Jewish brothers and sisters, because there's a lot of you newcomers, new subscribers who are, who come from Judaism, or maybe you were like me. My ancestors were all Jewish in Austria, in Poland, Germany. Those are my ancestors. Majority of them were killed and annihilated by the Nazis, by fascists. That's when that pretty much somewhere along the lines, that religion, you know, v disappeared in both of my bloodlines. And on my, my father's family, simply it became a secret. They still believe in God, still believe definitely in Jesus, but they prayed in their own words. They never attended church. However, for my mom, somewhere along the line, uh, I think it started with her mom. They were literally lied to when they were told that Christianity, believing in Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Heavenly Father, God Almighty, is, is Catholicism, that that's the same as basically Christianity. These, I'm telling you, people in Eastern Europe or even in Germany, there is no difference for them between Catholicism and Christianity. And I know that for a fact, because I know when someone would ask me, um, I would go somewhere to a job fair at my university or, or some sort of, um, you know, um, whatever, I don't know, some, something at, like a, at a convention center type of situation where there's a lot of employers and we would discuss things and we would have meetings, seeking out jobs for the future, discussing, you know, potentialities, our interests as students, undergrad, and, and they would say, they would say, oh, what is your, you know, so uh, do you mind me asking uh, what is your religion? Of course, normally no one would ask that, but this was between like some sort of student organization. I said, well, because um, I want to be a part of something. And then I think I was interested in setting my own organization, which eventually I just fell through. But what I'm saying is the question was, what is your, uh, do you have a religion? Do you believe in God? And I said, well, yes, I believe in God. Absolutely, definitely. I said, I believe in Jesus. And they, they were saying, so, well, so what is it? And I said, well, well, I'm Christian. I'm Christian, Catholic. And they said, so are you a Christian or a Catholic? I said, what do you mean? Well, the church, it says only a Roman Catholic, but uh, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus. And she was like, well, which one, basically, which one is it? Like, pick one. And I couldn't understand, you know, why was she asking me that till years later, not knowing that there's so many derivatives here in the United States of Christianity, not understanding there's, to me, no one ever told me go read the Bible, which is the number one mistakes that Catholics make. They trust these priests that they tell them the truth, not knowing that we were commanded to confess our sins under the blood of covenant. Uh, you know, if we want to go to heaven, have our heavenly Holy Father left a command through his son, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to confess our sins in a prayer closet, right? To confess our sins in secret, to pray in secret, in sort of speak our prayers closet, right? That the, that, that the Father will reward us for the things we pray for, for our diligence, for us wanting to seek Him out through His Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because we always must pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Heavenly Holy Father, and then you ask whether you have a request or you praise Him. Please always remember, honor, first and foremost, our Heavenly Holy Father, Aleph and Tab, the beginning and the end, Yahweh of Israel, God of Israel, and of course, His Son, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is imperative that you understand that you, you, we must, you will see more and more of that hidden agenda against the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So people, 
a lot of witches just use the name of Jesus because they are literally thinking and praying to Satan. And in Vatican, I told you, they invoked Satan um, under the name of Jesus. And they say, Jesus, the son of Lucifer. Go look up that video. It's a four minute video. It's very short. Just go, go uh, invocation of Lucifer in Vatican. And it will pop right up. It will be the first or second video. And it's, it's, it's like on a one and a half minute mark or whatever. I also have video about that on my channel uh, in September or October of 2020. It's in a 10, 10 minute video or less. I know I, I discuss this. I use that always as an example. Um, uh, witches, warlocks use the name of Jesus and they speak of Satan. So Father, knowing that this is becoming now more and more common agenda, that Satan is positioning himself to before he will illegalize the scriptures and Bible, he wants to release an agenda that, that, listen to me carefully, please, this is serious, that number one, that Jesus, that Satan is Jesus, which is a horrific blasphemy. So this is why it is important. You need to test the spirits on my message. But if you will understand that pronouncing, saying, getting yourself used to in prayer, saying, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a lot of you already do it, Jesus of Nazareth. Even that is better than just saying Jesus. Of course, Father knows who are his children. So ultimately, you know, that does, that's not going to make you or break you. You know, you're still saved. It's, it has nothing to do with salvation. But I'm saying, so we would recognize one another. I'm saying we, we as God's children, followers of true one and only Jesus Christ of Nazareth, under the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You must understand who Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. You must understand who he is, what he has done. So you only, he can answer those questions to you, not me. I can tell you what I was told. That's not, that's not you asking him. He will know you didn't ask him. You didn't seek him out. So even though intellectually as an intelligent person with a mind that is rational, that thinks that you, that you, you know, we hear a lot of things every day, right? And, and, you know, but that does not mean that it, if, for example, I can tell you also what my oil is, but that's not your oil. That's simply, you know, just, I just told you what my oil is, but that oil will never, ever be yours. Your lamp, your Holy Spirit is lamp. Your Holy Spirit lamp is inside of your vessel. Vessel is a temple. Temple is your body. Body is a vessel or temple. Do you understand? You need to fill your Holy Spirit by reading a scriptures every single day, asking questions, even if it's just a couple of verses. Read one verse and think about it. Do you really understand it or did you always assume that you, that you understand it? A lot of people know that, that they know what oil is. And in fact, they don't know what oil is. Again, definition of oil, oil, what oil is, God gave us in the first Song of Solomon, third verse. And it's written, again, I quote, beginning, so now I'm going to tell you. For thy name is fragrant oil poured forth. Whose name? The name of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Well, unquote. So tell me, and I then, I always follow with this question, as Father commanded me. Well, does just knowing full name, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, save you? Get you raptured? Is that, that's the oil, that's it? Is that easy? In some cases, yes, it's that easy for children, for the simple-minded, absolutely. Uh, even, even They don't even have to know that much. They, their, their heart loves Jesus. So you will see babies worshiping God today at 10 years old, at 10, excuse me, at 10 days, eight days. I've seen a baby lifting up a hand when there was a song playing, you know, worship song. A, a, a godly song. I'm not talking about these rambling, jazzy songs or, or uh, organizations that are not even Christians, but they are, are you know, they're, they're Satan's worshippers through Christianity, which is sick. It's sickening. Those are those will be remembered. Father will chew them up and he will spew them out of his mouth, just like any other lukewarm person. These people didn't fall off. They were from the beginning wicked and evil, wanting to lead other people, such as God's normal children, by seducing them. Those are the seducing spirits, religious spirits. They want to seduce you with their music. Remember, it has to be, Father says, worship him. 
sing to him. It does, there's nothing mentioned about instruments, instruments being played. However, there's a lot of people out there that he approves of singing. For example, I'll give you an example. One of the groups that Father recommended me to is a married couple and their group. This married couple goes under the name This Is Rain. So not like rain, rain, that, rain that water that's falling down from the sky, but rain, R-E-I-G-N, rain, like raining as a king, you know, that type of rain. So look them up. This is rain. Highly recommended. Um, stay away from sinning through your senses, such as through your ears, by listening to th sinful things through your eyes, by watching sinful people, people who are Satanists or people who are witches, warlock wizards in training or who knowingly, knowingly or unknowingly keep on blessing the Holy Heavenly Father. In this case, yes, I have to unfortunately be straight up with you since I was put on those cases from the beginning because I will be using them as teachings without names. But for now, yes, for all of you coming out of Colleen Minter and Humble Seekers channels, you need to understand that this man will continue. These people are so stubborn, they're so evil, they're so wicked that they'd rather be right about their dream than to acknowledge that they have been wrong I didn't know until about yesterday that Humble Seeker every year sets the dates for the raptures. That he's been in training from the beginning for four or five years. In every year he sets a date for the rapture somewhere in, in April. Look it up. But don't, no, don't look it up. Don't waste your time even on it. Unless you have extra time and, and you know... What I'm saying is, at this point, laid in a race, don't waste any second on people that are blaspheming the Holy Spirit. They're, they're already gone. You blaspheming the Holy Spirit as a believer in Christ Jesus of Nazareth, you're gone. Look up a situation where a woman blaspheming the Holy Spirit, Father, drop her dead right then and then. But, you know, you have people like Colleen Minter says, Our Father has his all full of love and he's all righteous and just. Yes, he is. But because he's righteous and, and his foundations of his throne is justice and righteousness, that's why he dropped that woman dead. That woman, point blank, lied to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit spoke, have spoken through a disciple and asked, give her a command. They fulfilled the command. God asked through that man again, how much money did you make from it? Because they were dealing with a man. The woman was so stingy, she lied about how much money she had because she didn't want to donate the whole sum of money for the purposes of God. God dropped her dead because she lied. Because she lied that she had half, of, half as less than what she was actually paid for that piece of land that she sold. I believe it was a piece of land. This is a story. I have to find that story. I don't remember the verses, but I'm sure... If you Google it and you, an example of the Holy Spirit punishment, I'm sure this verse will, this verse should definitely, that situation, that story should pop right up. Besides the point, agenda against the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's number one. I just told you, go seek out the meaning of the full name. Why it is important again to say, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I already gave you the primary reasons. There's so many more, but that's the, that's the number one reason why you need to know this. Number two, why the name G-O-D, yes, it's not, even though it's in every single Bible on earth, I also made, Father had me made videos through the Holy Spirit on that topic. I was ordained to do them. Other stuff is, is, is then there's a lot of stuff that wasn't well put together. It's far from being, you know, I don't sound intelligent. I don't, I quote, I don't quote enough verses for you. In a lot of those videos from of old, those videos that have a lot of um, information in them, please always look up the description because then all of that stuff will be in the description. Some of my descriptions have all the verses you need. A lot of them have so much information. So all you can do is you go and you photo, you can photograph them, you can screenshot them so you will have the answers and then you can ponder on them yourself as you will test the spirits. Everything I teach you is what I was taught by the Father, God Almighty himself through the Holy Spirit, okay? Where I did something on my own, I tell you that I'm thinking on this, I'm working on this, how I haven't tested the spirits on this, and I tell you, I'll tell you that because you will see me in working. Again, remember, I'm, I'm drinking milk as I'm eating steaks because 
I was put in a situation, in a position where I was so severely assaulted and attacked, where I told you, brothers and sisters, I mean it. I'm fighting for every, I was fighting for every single second of my day and night to survive. It was an attack after attack after attack. And I'm not just saying like something touching. I'm something, someone violently shaking your bed, someone piercing your body. I'm talking fascistic Nazi concentration camp, sadistic tortures through astral projections. I know who every single one of those people, those occultists is. I pray that they will repent, that God, because God is coming. My father is coming to avenge people like me. That is the day of the trouble. The day of my visitation is coming. People who have been, I repeat, in a covenant by sacrifice also, this is part of that set of events. And that will be right before I believe that, well, I believe, I know so. It will be right, right around or literally a day or two prior whenever this Gog Magog war begins. And when that seal also opens the first seal, because I guess, or maybe I should call it, those are, again, I already said that the first seal of, was open because I was shown that the angel of the Church of Philadelphia, Elijah type, was crowned. So let's call this, I'm sorry, so let's call this, judgments of the first seal because the first seal has been opened so call this judgments of the first seal again i haven't asked the father to be honest on the question whether i just assumed that the first seal was open by what i was shown and that those everything was in motion so i believe i it's it's more accurate to say actually brothers and sisters that at least for sure that that day it will lead to the judgments of the first seal for sure and that will be that will be uh, the day of the trouble. This will be um, the beginning of Elijah also being more, uh, this person's horn will be exalted because this person has to conquer the entire earth with just the words, the word, the word of the Lord. What the understanding that the Father has given this person to unite families, to unite mothers with daughters, sons with their fathers, again, sister with, brothers because you know the enemy this person also knows the enemy and all the enemy tactics and it is important imperative also this person is a mouthpiece of our heavenly father so this person is ordained ordained like they were created to do just that one function so as a speaker out of tiredness you know just like i make mistakes all of us can make mistakes i in fact i told you brother and sister how like a, a, a week and a half ago yeah i literally recorded something and i literally said opposite of what i wanted to say so the sentence was the same i accidentally somehow i misspoke and i added a word that literally was blaspheming jesus christ of nazareth i was speaking against his name that's not what I wanted to say. And father told me uh, during the night, first thing in the morning. So I went there, I corrected. I was like, what? I said that? I was like, how could I say this? Father, it's not, you know, it's not true. Well, but you did. So correct it and stop talking about it. Just correct it. And, you know, tell the people who, in case somebody saw it, write it out in the comment section or whatever. Make sure you say it and remind them again. So because I don't want to mislead any of you accidentally. So if you ever see me or hear me say something that's out of my character or that sounds like it's blaspheming in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, please tell me. Because oftentimes I'm just trying to quickly speak the things that Father tells me you guys need to know right, off, right away. And I might be under severe oppression, tortures, tired. You don't know if I haven't slept. You know some days I look better. Other days you won't see my face for months. Because things are that bad sometimes, I'm just exhausted, but I will always, always fulfill my Heavenly Father's holy divine will. Remember that only those who fulfill holy divine will of our Heavenly Holy Father, God of Israel, Yahweh of Israel, will inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's what Jesus Christ of Nazareth said. With this being said, remember, in the first song of Solomon, I just told you, right, what the definition of oil is. So going back to the question. Can a Satanist be raptured if they know the name of Jesus? No. Um, well, okay, well then, uh, I know the full name, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, common sense, logical, uh, you know it too. And you're doing nothing else, even though this is a race, and Jesus says this is a race, we gotta run in this race. 
do our best, right? But, you know, so what are we commanded to do? So one of the things that we are commanded to do, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know, in the New Testament is so important because Jesus, oh, let's say, this, say it this way, our Heavenly Father, God Almighty, left numerous, numerous commands through His Son, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for us to make sure that we follow. Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Listen, you better, off, you better get down less things, but fulfill something every day. I told you one of the examples, I always say quickly, just you can easily fulfill every day a very simple command, such as be grateful. Every morning, Father says, wake up with a grateful heart. That was a command of our Heavenly Holy Father, Abba. He says, wake up, so be grateful in the morning when you wake up. Say, thank you for this, thank you for that, da, 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 you know. Raise an hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Say, I raise an hallelujah to the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I raise an hallelujah to our Heavenly Holy Father, Yahweh of Israel. Father, Abba, I love you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for guiding me. Pledge, say, I decree and declare love and life over myself, my mom, my body, my soul, my spirit, my heart, my, my whole family, my children. Put on the full armor of God. As Father is through, spoken through the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Put it on like you put on clothes, something that also Heavenly Holy Father keeps on telling me. Remind them to put on a full armor of God head to toe twice a day in accordance to book of Ephesians chapter 6. So say, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Heavenly Holy Father, I put on the full armor of God, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth. I shut my field with the gospel of peace. I take the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit. Father, please anoint my forehead with thy holy anointing oil in accordance to Psalm 23 so my cup can overflow. May your name shine forth upon my forehead. May I, for I am sealed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say always, I decree and declare, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord over my situation, say. Over my household, my family's situation, existence, DNA, whatever you want, say it. Over your finances, over your mantle, anointing, blessings, breakthroughs. Pray for breakthroughs, brothers and sisters. Pray for oil, to receive oil. That oil, again, no human being on earth can give you oil. Oil can be only received, only received from you through prayer and worship. I told you to repent every day. The reason being is because when you repent every day on your knees, you must be on your knees. Unless you are injured, then obviously that's understandable. Be on your knees when you repent. At least for the first, I don't know how long it might take you. Some people that start talking to Jesus while on your knees. Remain on your knees as long as you can. Sometimes I was on my knees for four or five hours. But, you know, until it depends, you know, what my situation is, how my health is. But I will still, even in pain, I will force myself that much more to be on the knees. Because even if you are in horrific pain, you showing the Father, the dedications that no matter what, no matter what kind of pain the devil causes against your body, and Father, because Father will allow it. Why? Because it teaches us to be meek and humble. It teaches, get what, guess what? I told you, pain has taught me one thing. You're going to hear the Holy Spirit, like, amazingly. If you're going to pray for it, to hear the Heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit, you're going to hear Him very, very well. But don't ever, ever fall for immediate reciprocations. If you're asking for something like, like uh, you've been receiving visions and you never tested the spirits, which Jesus, God, through Jesus, his son of Nazareth, commands us to test. And in fact, he gives us a test to give to that spirit that gives you that vision, right? Or that dream. And I, as, again, even if you forget to give that test, an, an emergency always is, to say blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. You, see, you are in the dream. Quickly say blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. If it's a demon, it will disappear. It will end. If it's in, people call this open eye visions. Let me tell you, open eye visions, 99.99% of everything that is on earth right now, those are from the enemy. Simply next time, the Spirit of send, uh, Holy Spirit of God or an angel that would come and deliver you a message, they know that you must give them that test. 
Do you understand? They will not give you a vision unless you give them that test. They're not going to force you into a vision either. They're not going to show you something disgusting and vile. Visions are shown just like prophecies to the true prophets of God. Every single one of them comes true. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth and it will only lead you to the truth. It will, it's, it loves meekness and humbleness. Holy Spirit loves meek and humble people. It will embrace you. It will guide you. It will be for you. It will go and approach Jesus Christ of Nazareth, make supplication to Jesus, and Jesus will go and intercede with Lord, with our Heavenly Holy Father. Do you understand? Keep that in mind that we, our intercessors, is Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan is not G-O-D of Israel. That's a blasphemous, blasphemous, blasphemous statement. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is not Satan either. What Humble Seeker is now telling you, I told you he is going to fall and he's going to keep on falling. The thing is that he does know he's evil. He does know he's wicked. And he remember, he needs a sacrifice to give it to the wicked one. And he's collecting those people who are giving him attention and are following him. There's many who are evil, knowingly. Because they're witches and warlocks but others are simply misguided and they don't know what's going on they think this man tells you he has oil he's a man and he's telling you precisely so what that he uses verses and he nothing you know nothing about the blood of jesus christ covenant or what the blood of jesus has done about the name of jesus christ of nazareth like you for example learn on my channel you learn nothing from him that will save you that will help you or get you closer to lord jesus christ of nazareth just blasphemy after blasphemy after blasphemy our number is going to save you. God says, don't follow after the skies, symbols in the skies, because I'm giving no sign to this wicked, evil generation. God said that, not me. So that means what? Whatever he's going to put it out there in the sky is for the wicked. You're not wicked. You're not evil. Things like tetrads, those are warnings for all of us, obviously. But I'm just saying overall, simply don't look up the signs after the gematria or the heavenlies, second heaven. God is not billion, million light years away from here. He's out of time. He's God Almighty, Yahweh of Israel, created physical realm that is earth. And that is the one and only physical realm, earth. There's a firmament all around us. God's, I also, please go look up my video on how I pulled every single scripture verse to, to show you how, uh, what is, you know, uh, that earth has foundations or something that is like a column, okay, that it shall never be shaken, how it has firmament. So firmament is mentioned again in Psalm 148, Psalm 150. Um, uh, cir circuit for the sun is mentioned in Psalm 19. So circuit, go look up a definition of what a circuit is. Circuit is something round over something round, basically. Um, so that is... If circus is over the earth, what is the shape of the earth? Flat circle. Literally. literally. Then, then foundations of the earth, Psalm 104. Then it was Psalm, I think, 94. Psalms are awesome for all of those questions that we all as human beings have today. Things that the devil enemy has concealed. Enemies, I told you, are all around us. The full mark of the beast has been in existence officially for a year and few months. And that is the Lucifer race. That is the mark of the beast. There is the number of the beast. The patent number it has, 060606. It's, it has its name of the beast. Lucifer's ace stands for Lucifer's or Satan's race, right? He's a demon. So when you take that, you become a demon. You change the ownership of your God's temple onto the ownership. You give ownership of your temple to Satan. And because you change an ownership of your temple, your body, and therefore the spirit that is within you will leave immediately. So your lamp, your Holy Spirit will leave immediately when you change an ownership. Or you give attention to Satan, worshiping Satan knowingly or unknowingly, especially knowingly. Yes, the Holy Spirit will depart from you immediately also. Do you understand? Humble seeker it has chosen a way of evil and wickedness knowingly now. He's knowingly blaspheming God Almighty, Yahweh of Israel, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Not just by what he said yesterday. 
Because I knew that and I've been telling you this for some time and I've been warning people from the beginning since father told me go now and all the videos that you've made previously on all the topics I commended you and usually I tell you in those videos that father commanded me to record them everything else is just my my to me talking and uh, you know it you know just Try to concentrate on the messages that brothers and sisters, you know, I tell you, you, you know, it, I'm right. You know, it's not about even, I shouldn't even say that. You know that they're from the Father. You know that they're from the Holy Spirit because they're in perfect alignment with the scriptures. Oil is the name of, oil is thy, the, the, for thy name is fragrant oil pour forth. Pour it forth. Who can pour that oil? Whose name? Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So what does this mean? Get down on your knees when you repent and pray and worship. Only then he can give you oil. How can you get oil? When you make supplication, when you read the scriptures and you ask questions, then he can give you oil. When you ask and pray for breakthroughs, for better understanding, for increased Holy Spirit guidance, he, only he can give you your oil. Your oil might be very different, as I said, from my oil. Set this aside, brothers and sisters. Remember, remember, stay away from people who are blasphemers, who are willful blasphemers. Jesus says, do not take the mark of the beast. Don't expect Satan to come forward and say, ooh, this is mark of the beast. And uh, yeah. Expect him to, just like with everything else, he's been deceptive, he is conniving, cunning, so expect the same now. The mark of the beast could be, the part, parts of it could be in those tests, because it is, in the, even the Q-tip test. I, I made a video. It could be in, 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 out of six vaccines, in four of them, and not the other two. Do you understand what I'm saying? But because of how they are made, Father simply told me, just tell them it's all an abomination unto me because unless you hear the Holy Spirit very well and all the time and you are in continuous communications with our Heavenly Holy Father through His Son, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and through the Holy Spirit of God, of Israel, then simple as that, He says, that means don't take any chance. Simply say no. Don't expect Satan to come forward or any of our governments in any country on earth and tell, yeah, guys, this is, we are Satanists and this is the mark of the beast. That's not how it's going to roll. Don't, that's not going to happen. The mark of the beast has been here. The mo more obvious one is the Lucifer race. This is what I've been preaching about it, talking about it. Well, preaching. I'm simply telling you what already exists. It already is here. Other ones have nanotechnology. I also tell you that nanotechnology has a patent number. It has a, a DNA, fallen angel DNA encoded in it also. So you don't know. A patent has an owner. So if you're going to put that ownership into your blood, blood represents what? Life. You, Satan always calls, calls for what? Blood sacrifices, blood covenants. If you well, change the ownership in the blood. There's life, substance of life, essence of life. So maybe, maybe soul is in your blood. A soul is in your blood. So when you put that blood into something else, give ownership to something else. Maybe I'm wrong about it, but, but it seems like it's, it's something like that. Blood is definitely life. It represents life, and I teach about that. What I'm saying is, brothers and sisters, that essence from Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that has purchased you the human being that he has created he went as far as coming and coming and ransoming paying Satan buying us he purchased he paid for our sins past present future you just have to repent of them so as you commit them repent them because this also gives you oil that also puts you puts puts you in a in a con on a continuous continuous uh, you know this meek and humble positioning of yourself on your knees and and you learn how to remain that way and you learn how to keep your mouth shut and listen to the Holy Spirit. Be still, Father said, and tell them they have to dwell in silence. I want silence. Observe. Ask to be not only diligent, but to, to, to be diligent with your work every day and to keep up a certain schedule, okay, with prayer, with praise and worshiping. But also remember to take, of course, things like do communion every day. That has tremendous protection. Because believe me, when Jesus says, 
pick up the cross and follow me. That means he's telling you, you, the cross that he carried, what happened when he carried the cross? He was abused, assaulted, beaten. That's going to happen to you. That happened to me. With that, the moment I was presented with, with Jesus Christ of Nazareth and what I, that I, what the things that I was saying and doing were selfish and that I, I thought I'm just doing them against myself to myself. So who cares? And those people really don't hear me when I speak uh, about certain topics or opinions that I, of course, felt entitled to say, you know, years ago. Um, I thought I was still very meek and humble. Yeah, by human standards, super meek and humble, but not by our father's standards. I was very boastful, very disobedient, very, in, you know, just, just, just stubborn, stubborn. You know, stubborn in a sense. Was I stubborn? Mm, wrong word. No, I'm sorry. I wasn't stubborn. I thought I was stubborn. I'm not. I, I realized I'm not stubborn. At the, so people around me were telling me I'm stubborn. And I realized today that was the enemy. That's another thing I shouldn't have just said. I said that wrongly. See, I didn't want to say that. I'm not stubborn. And that's the greatest thing to realize about yourself, that the things that some other people are telling you you are, that you really were never, but they are that. The people who call you those wicked, evil things, usually those are the, the very people that are abusing you, assaulting you. It's the devil speaking through them. And it assaults you because it knows that's what you really are not. So it knows it will hurt you. And we as children, if we've been told this our whole entire life, we can internalize that, you know. And I didn't internalize it never fully and completely. So that was one good thing because I deep down inside, I always knew that I was righteous, that my heart is a good heart, God, heart of gold. I'll help any of you. You. Even if you're going to be the crappy, shittiest friend to me, you know, the moment you say, I'm sorry, and even if you don't, I'm going to be there to help you because I can't stand someone being hurt. But also, I'm aware, Father taught me to be aware today, more of aware to the point that Satan can use that, that goodness in us against ourselves. So we have to know and have pray for discernment continually while we worship and praise and, you know, we are given oil and we are given, you know, oil often is received through breakthroughs, right? And breakthroughs, I'm not talking understanding the scriptures better. That is too, yes, part of the breakthroughs, but to, to understand the mind of Christ, why he said what he said. Father, why did you say that? This. Father, what made you do? What happened there at that time? You know, ask questions like a child. You know how a two, three-year-old asks questions. Well, why is the grass green? Why is the sky blue? Literally, ask those kind of questions. Don't ask stupid questions. Ask questions that you know will help you survive. Oil will help you survive the coming tribulation. This is why we are commanded to collect oil first and foremost because the. We will be here for the tribulation. Even though Church of Philadelphia will be raptured summertime very soon, it could be still a year, it could be a year and a half, maybe even two years. My point being, while this tribulation is here, the Church of Philadelphia, the angel of the Church of Philadelphia are the only, there's the only group of people that's absolutely 100% covered. No one, nothing will touch them. You must be an overcomer in this race to be raptured and to be transfigurated. Jesus says we all, to all seven churches, to all seven angels and all its members, you must be an overcomer. You're not getting raptured if you are believing on Jesus Christ, on Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that is uh, literally Satan. That's you believe you, you follow after Antichrist. Any other Jesus Christ of Nazareth or teachings that Jesus Christ of Nazareth did not teach, you believe on Satan. That's Satan. That's Antichrist. I don't care how many, what people say, how many different stories they perceive. If Jesus Christ of Nazareth wasn't teaching something, you cannot teach that. You cannot discuss this. Don't. Don't be tempted by the spirit of temptation, of evil. Don't follow. Don't fall for the demon. Don't fall for the demon that tells you you have a high rank and you got chosen. All of us are God's chosen. God, God chosen you. That's why you awaken today. That's why you're listening to this video right now, because you got chosen because he knocked on your door and you were, you felt compelled to go find out who Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. And you pledged you, you stated that you give your, your, you belong to Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your Lord and savior. Just as I decree and declare, he is my Lord and savior, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And for my child, for my daughter, for my family, for our tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel and the 144,000, the two witnesses and the seven angels of the seven churches. However, we must be an overcomer. Overcomer means, brothers and sisters, go look up a definition of what an overcomer is. An overcomer, by our father's definition, means 
you must overcome your flesh, preferably fully 100%. Nothing of this world should be on uh, spiritually. We are purified by the blood of Jesus. We are pure, right? But this flesh must remain during this time of tribulation as pure as it can be. You must overcome your stubbornness. You must overcome your hate, hatred, hatefulness. Church of Smyrna deals with horrific bitterness. They're very bitter people. They're very spiteful. They're evil. They have evil hearts. Cumin is also stubborn, but cumin goes literally straight up to beaten. Literally, Father says in, in, in Isaiah chapter 28, a lot of people don't like to hear this. This is why I said, find out what church you are from so you can deal with those, with those uh, stubborn or evil personality traits right now. Not during the tribulation, because during the tribulation you will be beaten, you will be tortured, you will be beheaded or whatever for the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You don't have to be. Work on it. Transfer yourself out. Be an overcomer from the Church of Smyrna. Then you're going to be just as protected as anyone from the Church of Philadelphia. Made yourself an overcomer now. Do you understand? You must be an overcomer. I have a lot of verses that I saved last night that Father gave me that I'm going to make another quick video tonight. Brothers and sisters, finally, I'm going to now make a quicker video in reference to what is wisdom, who is she, how she will embrace wisdom uh, because that person is here on earth also and this person is literally God's wisdom representative of God's Yahweh's wisdom I believe um, you don't have to believe that because of course first and foremost test the spirits on everything that's not important what's important is to understand is that what is God's wisdom? What is the definition of our Heavenly Holy Father's wisdom? And how can wisdom embrace us to begin with? Because wisdom will embrace you and will take you places that spirit of Antichrist will never take you to. Not because they don't, they don't understand what a pure light is, what pure innocence is. The, the, remember, the darkness does not comprehend the light. They will never, his father made it so that they will never ever have a comprehension of what light is. So even when they're lying through their agents of Satan, the Satanists, um, such as Humble Seeker is a full-blown Satanist, Satanic agent. I hope you know that by now. I'm not telling you go, go beat up on him, go call him names. No, stop listening to him and get off his channel. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Because you don't want to give your attention. You, those people who give them attention continuously. Remember, remember, I know for a fact they're in some sort of covenant, definitely an agreement. These demons, they will make him do crazy stuff. He's already saying stuff that's insane, such as like, I mean, it's laughable. It's really hilarious, but sad. That Jesus Christ has to time travel. Because he's like billion, million light years away. It, it, the rapture is not instantaneous. Even though God says in an instant, in a twinkling of an eye, thou shalt be changed, transfigurated. Everybody had their has dreams on earth and including our babies and children. Says it's in an instant. It's that fast. He says, Jesus, Jesus, God, the voice, the word, spoken word of God Almighty has to time travel because Satan has broken into our Heavenly Father's throne room? What? Are you kidding me? Please tell me you don't fall for this nonsense. Please, please, please. When I heard that, this man is so blasphemous. Listen, evil does not comprehend the light. Evil, there's no way evil could get through any of those portals. Even if they know that there's a portal, that portal will never honor them. God's creation serves the Lord and God's people, God's children. And it will, it, it, what I'm saying is it will destroy them. Even if the moment they would touch it, even before they would reach, first of all, they cannot reach that high. Number one, it will never happen. Because that portal is up there. I've been there. I know it. Since I was little, I've been there. All the time. Recently, as two and a half years ago, last time I was there. I know what's coming. I already have seen the last day on earth. Go watch my videos on that too. Very cool. What I'm saying, brothers and sisters, it's a blasphemy of blasphemies. And after that, so, so basically he makes us father. He, he thinks like such a primitive human. 
a Holy Spirit inside of us, first of all, he offended that, you know, if, if he was corrected, if he wouldn't be corrected before he made those mistakes, he was warned. Father has sent out numerous people to help him, to stop him from speaking, to stop him from making these mistakes. He got darker and more evil and he will grow more evil and more darker, more hateful because that is the goal of Satan to create a mini antichrist in Preferably, he would want it out of every single one of us, but of course that's not gonna happen. And I pray, and I pray that this man could, can, and anyone of his channel can still right now, because the people who are listening to him and Colleen, mentor, Colleen mentor fell off. She is the part of the great falling away. And she doesn't know it. She doesn't know it. He also, he knows, but he keeps on, no, no, cannot be. No, no, no. It, I was born on March 3rd or March 2nd. No, I'm Moses because I'm Moses. I know what God showed me. Meanwhile, it's all Satan. It's all demons. Now he just got a vision from more demons. Even in that vision, the demons tell him it's not him holding the, the scepter. It's not him holding that rod. It's someone else. He doesn't understand the basic symbology he does of the enemy. He doesn't understand how what enemy is. He doesn't understand, first and foremost, he doesn't know who Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. He doesn't understand how his mind thinks. He doesn't know who he is as God's creator's voice, who created time, who spoke light into existence, who spoke earth into existence. God, when he speaks, he speaks through Jesus. Jesus, in accordance to Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 to 17, right? He he all things came to be because of Jesus Christ of Nazareth all things are because of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and things hold together because of Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth he is the glue that holds all things together and then I always of course you know I'm famous for it I'm just joking lame joke <laughs> so for example with liquid water two hydrogen molecules of water hold together with one molecule of oxygen and that is liquid water how do you think water, liquid water is liquid water? Because God loves his creation. And that the moment that liquid water, Father, will judge this creation, all elemental forces will be on fire. That water will no longer be liquid water. It will burn individually as elemental forces. That's why every the air, oxygen, will be burning on fire. I've seen it. You don't understand what it is to stand in it. And, and, and you are surrounded by fire. In fact, you are that fire. I stood as fire with Jesus staring at Satan across from him as he's burning, as Vatican is, has is swallowed up and burning in hell by the earth. Literally, the earth will be swallowing up all the places where evil was conceived. And that place is Vatican, and then there's other places after it. Remember, brothers and sisters, the great whore of Babylon is Vatican, is Vatican. I've been saying many things, you know, but those are one of those things. I keep going back to Vatican. Vatican is the great whore. I mean, it, it really is the, it, it fornicated with everybody on earth, really, through the ages, uh, you know. <laughs> Get away from the Catholic Church the moment you can. And, and, and I know it's hard, it's shocking every single thing, you know, to all of you just newly awakened. If you are here listening to this, I know it's shocking. I've been there. Please watch as many videos as you can from people, not just me, but from whomever can, you can relate to to help you cope with your feelings. Because a lot of this information is shocking. To how things are but instead of dwelling on the negative always right now this is the time to spend at christ jesus christ's feet knowing getting to know jesus and his mind what he thinks cry to him be honest with him say you feel silly or stupid simply say it and and ask for strength all the time and guidance be meek and humble and simply say father if i blossom you forgive me if i have ever hurt you or your feelings forgive me if you said something stupid when you were tortured or assaulted by the witches warlocks or demons uh, you know because that's what they do they will assault us physically so you you're not going to get help right away from the father it's not going to stop right away then then you know you he wants you to say something wicked evil about jesus christ of nazareth Always say ahead of time, Father, if you're being tortured or assaulted, that Father, I don't mean any of those things. Please forgive me ahead of time in case something slips slips up. Remember, Father is forgiving and merciful. And he, if you offend him or the Holy Father, remember, simply repent and repent, repent. And if you are still suffering or in, you are in the covenant by sacrifice and in case or if you are being assaulted or abused by these astral projections, demonic tortures, remember, 
ask father if he has to allow them that you find that you will find you know grace ask him to help you find grace in those sufferings and to seek his face say i seek your face i seek to see your eyes your face i long to dwell in your tent forever heavenly father lord of lords king of kings i love your son and i love you and i love the holy spirit please embrace me with your love for this day i love you my brothers and sisters so much i love you and this is why i speak the truth and i was ordained to teach this truth i know a lot of people out there are against women teaching however we are in in the last days and I was ordained to teach you those things I what I was shown in darkness in secret I'm sorry there's something forgive you stuck on my lips suddenly a little fuzzy I love you and I will tell you always the truth yes this is a long video it just seems I don't know how to make short videos well you can watch this hopefully in parts and hopefully you got this far it's rough it's rough time and um we're in the eight days. Remember, there is a rapture. There's more than one rapture. And um, in case it is you and you are of the Church of Philadelphia, simply, simply don't assume that you are. If you know you're still, you're still wicked and evil. And I'm speaking to you honestly. Better find out what you are from and work on it. Jesus says exactly what needs to be done under each church. That is your responsibility to talk to him and ask him who you are and where you are from. That's what your soul must learn before you get raptured and go back to heaven. Your soul has a requirement to overcome that particular lesson, spiritual lesson. You must understand that. And remember, when Jesus said, don't take the mark of the beast, if you don't know which one's which, don't be tempted taking anything. Because it's from the enemy. And if it's for free, don't take anything. Tests, don't take them. Some of the tests are very, very, very evil. They have nanotechnology. They have literally demonic little worms. Kind of like in Morgellons. Just their silver, whitish fibers. They're very aggressive. They'll go through your nose and they will pierce your brain. They will cause the zombification disease, the decaying disease. The flesh will no longer die. The demons can commend them. Satan can commend them. This isn't funny. So if you don't know what's what, be suspicious of everything. Simple as that. Don't fall for someone being cute or nice or telling you what you want to hear that everything is okay where nothing is okay. We are being heavily prosecuted here. We are the two witnesses or the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. What does it do you know how heavily this person has been prosecuted? This is what's coming to those who are disobedient right now. She wasn't disobedient. She was obedient. She was tortured so that she would renounce the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the name of their Heavenly Father. Yet this didn't happen. I said she, didn't I? Listen, my point being, it, it doesn't matter. This person, literally, I was shown that this is happening to this person. And yes, I, I know it's a she because that's what I've been shown. And I know that there's, Father showed me a handful of people on earth who know who she is and what she looks like. And they even have her painting drawing of her face. That's a whole other topic. I love you, brothers and sisters. Stay eyes on the blood of Jesus, eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't let anyone talk you into the things that you don't believe. If you don't believe anyone, even me, as again, come test the spirits in accordance to the first book of John, chapter four, verse one to four. And if you and, and go look up the test and then go look up how I teach on how to do that test. Because sometimes maybe if you're a newcomer, it might be confusing. So I teach on that. And it's a very easy lesson. And in it, I review overall everything that I've learned my first year with my walk run, carrying the cross with Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because an ask to carry the cross. You have an ask to carry the cross, you're not going to get a cross. So if you're not uh, following, how can you follow Christ if you don't follow, uh, carry the cross? You're not going to follow Christ Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're going to follow something else. Do you understand? 
you as an adult who is healthy or, or normal, care, ask to carry the cross. That's what Jesus says. That's what Jesus said. Pick up the cross and follow me. That was his, what, command. Did you follow, fulfill that command? A lot of you haven't, and that's okay. Because remember, eventually you're gonna have to follow that cross. So you better do it now and start doing now. See what it is, get used to it, and, and don't ever agree with it, don't ever put up with it, meaning what the enemy will give you. Be obedient to the commands of from the New Testament. Under the blood of Jesus, we are under the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, we are commanded to go read the prophets so we know where we are in prophecies. But overall, don't listen, don't even go there unless you get the basics down. Get the basics down. What is oil? I told you where oil is, what it is. And I also left you many beautiful pointers on how to get that oil how, what leads you to receiving that oil i left you literally step-by-step -step instructions satan cannot falsify oil anyone who's been with lord jesus christ of nazareth like me for two years fully and completely reading the scripture within a year i know things that people don't know after 50 60 70 years of walk with him why because they never asked to carry the cross i ask i ask and i got it it's freaking painful. It sucks. It hurts. And the, the, the tighter you are with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are a huge threat to the enemy. Huge. Because when I pray, they have a freaking headache across the, across, the, across the freaking realm. All the Satanists and all the demons, they have a headache. I give them a headache. When I scream, they have a headache. When I pray and praise and worship, they have a headache. Your words do matter, but don't teach some frequencies. Don't teach all whatever Jesus. Yes, all of that might be truth, but not how Satan teaches it. That is a lie. You must understand everything that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was teaching because only that will help you survive. And all Jesus said about speaking love and life over yourself, that's what you must do. Don't teach the frequencies in Hertz's, all of that. That's satanic today. That it has been perverted. This is why we don't teach about it. We don't teach horoscopes and, you know, about stars because Satan has also perverted that. We, Jesus came back and gave us step-by-step -step instructions how what are we to do to be obedient and one of them is to always obey the two commandments and of course from those two commandments all the all the other ten commandments well all the other eight commandments you know uh, derive from so number one is worship thy father Yahweh of Israel and only him and number two love one another forgive one another learn to forgive and don't blame Jesus Christ of Nazareth for something stupid that you said or you have done or any kind of evil your wicked evil heart has caused because that's a blasphemy and you must then repent of a blasphemy we can also accidentally blaspheme the father but simply don't worry about it if you haven't done it you haven't done it if you accidentally out of upsetness of something whatever tortures you have done something sorry i just got a message <clears throat> Simply repent, repent, repent. Get out, down on your face. Repent that way. Not even on your knees. On your face. Repent. Cover your head, women. Men, take off your heads. Head down. Bow your head. Unless you worship, then open up your hands. Raise up your hands. And, and, and always emphasize that you are doing everything to Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father knows who you all are his. Those his sheep hears his voice. You're not a bullock. You are a sheep. You are. He is a lamb that was slaughtered. Not a... <laughs> I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Come check out my quick video on wisdom. I love you brothers and sisters. Have a beautiful day. And I guess uh, please check me out later. Please subscribe. Please give me thumbs up if you can and you know piss me on for whatever reason if you don't want to listen to the whole thing no problem recommend me for whatever topic you think i i speak truth truth about and i believe i speak truth about everything because the spirit of truth has without a shadow of a doubt embraced me and if you will embrace the truth the truth will embrace you i am gold refined in fire and Jesus said, buy from me gold, refine in fire. 
I love you, brothers and sisters. Bye.